Alright guys, in this tutorial we're going to learn something really special and that's how to create a Facebook app. And it's going to be a really basic app, but you can still say you're an app creator after this. More importantly though, when someone clicks a login link on your site or visits the login page, or when you visit your usual login page, you're going to get the connect with Facebook button on the screen. Now this is really cool for a lot of reasons that we'll talk about throughout this video. But for now, I just want to show you how if we go back and we're on the site, this is my NaraiGuy.com tutorials and e-courses website. If we're just not logged in, just as one of your uh, visitors would be, or one of my visitors would be, maybe if you're going to come and take this course, which you definitely should, this is what the screen would look like. And we have a sign up button right here in blue. I want you to focus on that button, in fact, because once someone logs in, that sign up button is going to change. So if we log in and we click connect with Facebook, this button that we're going to add, then you get your own little profile in WordPress with some limited options, less than the admin of course because you're not a full admin, you're just a different kind of WordPress user. But then when we go to the site as a logged in user and click to that courses page again that we can get to through that link, now the button says enroll now and that's because we're already signed up. So the Facebook button is beautiful, it'll add features to your site, but most importantly it's a way to get people to sign up and instead of having them put in all sorts of information they can use their normal Facebook information which is already in Facebook and then gets imported into WordPress. So I'm going to log out again and then just visit the home page and now I'm going to go back to that courses sign up screen and we can see I want to click sign up you have to enter in more information like a username, email, password and sometimes this is just too much for someone to do and they end up not signing up to your site. Um, now of course if you're signing up to this site and you've gone through this process that's great thanks very much but we can also go through Facebook and what you get as a user is the same thing. It's just another option to make your website more flexible for your customers, your visitors, your students and hopefully to get more signups. It's really cool and uh, of course you might notice that I'm using this tutorial website in a tutorial. Um, I always like using the stuff we make to show you how to do more things and vice versa. Alright, so how do we get this Facebook button? Well, let's close Naraga and come over to a logged in window right here where I'm the admin and we're going to add this button to comfyanimals.com, our demo site. So how do we do that? First off, you want to come to the dashboard, click in the upper left, and then we need a plugin. So let's click plugins. And let's click add new. And we're going to do a search here for next and Facebook. There's a lot of average plugins for setting up Facebook logins and Twitter logins and Google logins, stuff like that. A lot of which I've tried that don't work, um, but these work amazingly. And they're pretty easy to set up, as we'll see. And we want to install now on the Facebook plugin. Maybe in later tutorials we'll set up the, uh, the Google and the Twitter one. And activate. And now we're going to have ourselves a nice new plugin. All right here next end so let's click settings and now it gives us the whole set of directions for creating the Facebook app which we have to do right now and once we get our app we're gonna paste in two little pieces of information the app ID and the app secret and then things will be working and we can place that button and the link around the site this is where it gets tricky so I'm of course gonna walk you through it the first step is just to click the create a Facebook app link and then of course we need to log in to Facebook
and I'm going to click the green add a new app button because I'm pretty sure that this is the screen you're going to get right when you uh, click the link in the plugin. You're going to get this screen and then even though the directions tell us to click advanced setup we just want to click basic setup right here. And you can follow along these uh, 11 steps here within the plugin or you can just go ahead and do it like I'm going to do which might be easier. So we need a display name and I'm going to write in comfy animals. You want this to be the name of your site because when someone logs in with Facebook on your site for the first time it's going to redirect them to Facebook and they'll get a message saying that this display name wants to use their Facebook information should they proceed or deny it and so you want this to look credible and match your site you don't want it to say something like underscore or you know Greg's test something like that because then they'll probably just deny it and they won't log in on Facebook so make the display name the name of your site leave namespace blank and then choose a category for us it's just education and create app ID now we need to pass the security here and select the waterfall photos one two three four five six seven eight and that's not a waterfall click submit and it'll do its thing alright now this page is where it gets tricky and I'm gonna go back to our directions and see that we're now on step five we just passed the security check so what we want to do here from this screen is click settings and then click plus add platform and choose website and then enter in your site URL so you can just copy that from your browser tab and it should get the HTTP to paste that in there that's not it okay you don't know what happened there just gonna copy that try that again excellent and before we click save changes we want to contact email too for any important information about our Facebook app and then you can click save changes alright now the next step is pretty simple just click app review and make comfy animals public we want to check yes and then confirm because we want the public to be able to log in with Facebook alright with that done we're gonna go back to the dashboard click dashboard and we now have an app ID and an app secret to enter in our WordPress so let's do that just copy the app ID make sure you just copy the numbers no spaces and paste that in our app ID and then click show on the app secret and highlight it with a double click copy and paste and with that done just save changes at the bottom and now when we check out the home page we won't see anything different of course but when we log out we'll see the normal login page for Mr. Taylor which you'll have if you followed my create an e-commerce website in WordPress 2016 tutorial but if we go to the WP admin login screen click enter now you have the connect with Facebook option which is pretty cool so how do you actually make use of this page and get users to this page so they can log in with Facebook well, there's two ways to get your users to log in with Facebook. You can either paste in a link somewhere where you want people to click to log in. Say maybe you're writing out directions for your users and it's like, click on this page now, join our site by clicking this link and log in with Facebook. Da 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 da. Next thing you're supposed to do is, you know, write a blog post, that sort of thing. And to put in a basic link, we could just it with Visual Composer.
I would recommend putting a link in a text block so you can edit a text block and write out something like login with Facebook to make shopping easier. And then we want to highlight link and just write out the login screen of your website. So in our case it's comfyanimals.com forward slash wp dash admin but your site would look different right here before the dot com or dot net or dot org and we could even put the www in even though we don't need to now when we add link and save might also want to make that white centered save it and update now your users will have a link that they can click to log in with Facebook and make shopping easier. And by make shopping easier, I mean that when they log in with Facebook, it will pull in whatever information like a shipping address or a billing address that's already in Facebook to make the checkout process easier. It will also store products that they wish listed and added to the cart. If someone was shopping around and then logged in with Facebook, it will store the information or if someone logs in with Facebook and then shops around and then closes your site and comes back and logs in it'll also store that product information so it's a very intuitive uh, link and a very intuitive sign up process when they come in through your site with Facebook let's check out how that would work when someone clicks this link and to do that I'm gonna open up incognito on my Mac by clicking command shift N if you're using Internet Explorer, I believe that's Command Shift P, but you might have to Google how to get to incognito mode. And incognito mode just means that the computer won't know who we are and it won't know that we've logged in, stuff like that. In other words, you can use incognito mode to check out your site as a random visitor would see it. And when we get to Comfy Animals, we'll see the link that we added on our home page we can click it and then we get the login screen and someone can connect with Facebook and then it does that nice redirect through Facebook itself so I'm gonna log in now so someone would just log in Click enter. And then we'll get this nice continue as Greg screen saying that comfy animals will receive the following info, your public profile and email address. And I'm sure you've seen this screen before if you've used Facebook to log into a site like Jack Threads or your favorite blogs or your favorite stores. This is all very legit because the next end plugin that we're using here will make your website or blog just as legit as any other website out there. And next, your customer can decide to cancel and not log in with Facebook or click OK and log in with Facebook. And we want to click OK. And here we are. Now we're logged in with Facebook. If we leave incognito mode and check out the site from the developer's end, we can go to the back end and now let's click on users and let's see if we can find ourselves, aka the person that just logged in with Facebook and we see ourselves right here it's a Facebook user named Greg Narayan and then you can just open that up and manage the user from the back end if you'd like alright so really cool and the other way to add this Facebook login button to your site instead of the link we put on the home page is to go to the next end plugin in settings and you can just copy paste this simple link in right here which will take someone right to the Facebook prompt without giving them the WP dash admin screen so that'll even save them another step if you paste this link in and let people click on this link for some reason this image button wasn't working when I checked it out I'm gonna have to ask the developers about that Maybe they changed something like the image source, I'm not sure. But if you want to put the uh, image button in other places on your site, 
the image button, of course, would be let's log out and see the image button. The image button would be this button right here. If you want to put this around your site, then let me know and I'll see if I can find the custom code to do that. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to add a Facebook login to your WordPress blog or website. Good luck building, and of course, make sure to sign up to my first ever e-course at naragai.com. It's free, and you can keep track of all your progress as you create an amazingly beautiful e-commerce website in WordPress 2016. Hopefully, I'll have more courses here as well. But for now, you can just sign up the old-fashioned way with this screen right here. Or you can log in and connect with Facebook, which you now know how to set up too. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.